Okay, so the problem that we have right here is that our component doesn't have a smooth transition when we render the first time, but every subsequent time it works. And that's because of the way that we have this set up. Only after we click are we setting the scroll height for the first time. Now, our assignment from yesterday was to implement use effect to get that value on the first time that we render. We're just gonna do every time. Now, use effect, we use react.useEffect. We put that right before our return right here. We don't need any props right here and we're just going to open that up and put that right there so we literally just moved it out of our on click and we moved it here now this isn't going to happen every time we click anymore it's just going to happen the first time and that's really all we need um, because once we have that value um, unless they resize it's going to be the same value now with just that one move, we should see that this works the first time. I'm gonna refresh just so you know that I'm not you know, pulling your leg here. And yes, it does. It works every single time. Okay, so the next assignment is we're gonna do something a little bit more UI related. So if I render another show less component and this one had significantly less content in it. Hi there. I would expect this not to have a show more or less button, right? Because it's not, big enough to justify hiding some of the content. And now that we have the content height available from our first render on, you should be able to conditionally hide this based on whether or not it's past that threshold of 100 pixels, or you could make that dynamic however you want. That's it for today. Pretty simple one, I think. But uh, if you wanna know what we did yesterday to get to this point, you can click on this video up here. If you want tomorrow's solution, it'll be here when it's ready. See you in the next one, bye.